I think that the beginning of understanding is a moment, understanding that actually no understanding of anything appearing at all. Is that right? Mm. We learn about the word of truth about it, but is that the understanding of the truth at moment of what is there as it is? As it is, it's learned, it's heard, but it's not yet understanding it as it is, because there are many levels of understanding. If the intellectual understanding is not strong enough, how can it condition confidence of the truth, what is heard, whether it's true or not? This is the beginning of the development of confidence of the truth, so that it can be realized gradually, little by little, from Understanding the truth of what is heard about it, like now, what is there? There cannot be just only that which appears as the object, like the visible object, shape and form and sound and story and so on. But actually, life is in just one moment. Is that true? And what is that very moment different from other moments? And it keeps on accumulates what is there as things and people but, and have ignorance of whatever is there. No attention, no careful considering about the truth. Is it always there? No other moment? There is only one moment now or one moment at a time. That's why whatever in life is there can be learned when there are words of truth about it to condition moment of considering whether it's true or not. When it's true, it's true right then, when it's there now. That's why the idea of I was born and I will die and how long will I live and so on, our only idea about what is there as people and things situation, events, and so on. But what is there so true in a moment? Without that one moment, can there be life like this? Non-stop moment of experiencing different uh, experiences, seeing, hearing, thinking, sleeping, and so on. And what are there? It can be known because it's real and it's now appearing. That's why whatever is heard, there can be moment of considering whether it's true or not because it agrees with the characteristic which now appears. For example, what is seen? In truth, only that which can be seen. And why that can be seen? Because it's there impinged on the eyebrows. The reality which can be seen, if it does not impinge on the eye base, it cannot be seen. So each moment is so true, but what about the understanding? Beginning from understanding that it's real, it's there, and it has its own characteristic, which is different. For example, that which sees, the word seeing represent the moment of that which sees arising and seeing. So seeing is only seeing, and it's gone as it sees, that's all. Hearing is hearing, no one there, nothing there. It hears, so it is a reality which arises to experience that object. Each word can be studied carefully, whether it's true or not, to understand the truth that it's not there anymore. But the truth does not appear as it is, really is. That's why the word does not appear well, whatever now appears. And what is the meaning of appear well? See, so deep, even we talk about just understanding from the very beginning, appear well, without understanding, can it appear well? It cannot appear well. So what does it mean? Well, because there is right understanding of its truth. So it can appear as it is, one by one. 
little by little. And what is meant by, well, when Panya understands more and more, it appears more and more and more well, not as it is like now at all, when there's no understanding of the truth at all. So the right understanding begins to develop, to be truthful to the truth, because from the very beginning, understanding that actually there's no understanding of anything in life at all. In order to begin to understand the truth, which is so very subtle, that's why just one word or one reality can be studied to have clear understanding, only clear understanding intellectually, because it's not directly experienced that which appears well as it is, as we have heard. That's why when Panya develops more, the meaning of appear well became, become clearer and clearer and better and better and better. Not just well, like from the beginning, more than that, stage by stage, until the truth revealed to Panya, which can understand it. Understand, for example, hardness. Touching, it seems like no different, no special at all. But in truth, it's just like any reality, like that which is smell or what is experienced to five the ways or to any kind, mind or it depends on what is said about how and when and why and such and such to understand better and better, deeper and deeper, just to let go. Ignorance, enormous, eons and eons ago, to begin to understand that what is meant by appears well, and now when there's no understanding, how much it does not appear as it is so well, to the degree of right understanding, even directly, see, it's not directly to the moment when it arises in false way yet, but it begins to be aware little by little in order to be aware more direct from moment to moment, little by little, from intellectual understanding to the patipati and to the moment when it appears more well than before, and on and on and on. So even just one word can con condition understanding better and deeper, little by little, to understand the truth, the Arya Satya, to the degree that it can let go the idea of self and things from the absolute truth of each reality. And it begins now, little by little, to have confidence that what is there has to be studied, considered, careful, in order to understand a little better, clearer and clearer. But it's not as clear as when it is Pativeda, Vipassanayana. So each Vipassanayana, the reality appears not well as from the very beginning, when it's higher, it can understand. The way it is just right now, it appears, but understanding is there. Letting go, ignorance, not understanding the truth of just one reality at a time. That's why learning to understand the word of truth, to consider whether it's true or not, and that is not I or anyone, but it is right understanding, quite different from ignorance, no understanding of what is there at all. So it takes quite a long time, but seeing the benefit, the value, the precious moment of understanding, different from the moment of no understanding of the truth of what is there at all. And the absolute truth is Dhamma, is Dhamma, no one there at all, no thing there at all. <laughs> 